that are spread from person to person through bodily fluids, blood, germs transferred through the air, food, from a surface or animals. These illnesses result from infection and are important to be studied for prevention and detection of common source outbreaks. Here shown is a student Noah Doddridge as he walks down the hall to his next class greeting his fellow peers. What these students do not know is that Noah recently contracted influenza type B, a highly contagious communicable disease. As Noah gave out high fives, he spread his germs from his hands to the hands of his classmates, infecting them as well, demonstrating one of the modes of transmission of these diseases. Here you can see Noah getting a drink of water. His saliva is transferred from mouth to fountain. Another student decides to use the exact water fountain that Noah used, thus infecting that student with Noah's germs. A pickup basketball game is being played where Noah is up in players' faces, transmitting germs through the air. He also transfers germs to the ball before multiple others on the team touch it, infecting more and more people. Now that you have seen the dangers of Noah's careless actions throughout his day, infecting others with his communicable disease, let's discuss some precautions Noah could have taken to lower the spread. Preventing the spread of communicable disease can be as easy as washing your hands often and disinfecting services before and after you come in contact. Another universal precaution is receiving proper vaccination to keep yourself from contacting certain communicable diseases. Now that you have seen some scenarios of how Noah spread his communicable disease, we will now show Noah demonstrating some things he could have done to help the spread. Alright guys, have a great day. Um, I'll see you all tomorrow. Don't forget activity 113 for homework. See you guys. Now, can you clean off the tables before you leave? Yeah. Okay. Alright, I'm just going to clean your arm. How are you doing today? I've seen better days. How are you doing? Not bad, not bad. Are you afraid of needles? A little bit, yeah. I suck it up, Brittany. Yep. You guys, I really do not know where we're going tonight. <sighs> you forgot to scream. Okay, great. Thank you. Have a good day. <laughs> Thank you. You have just witnessed a student receiving the vaccine, which can potentially stop him from becoming just another statistic. Around the world, nearly 50,000 men, women, and children die every day from infectious disease. Along with taking necessary sanitary precautions, vaccinations are one major way to stop this number from growing. However, in 2021, the number of completely unvaccinated children has increased by 5 million since 2019. This is a result of hundreds of people around the world being unable to receive important vaccinations due to various reasons including negative stigma, parental refusal, and the large one, transportation barriers. Each year, 3.6 billion people in the U.S. alone do not obtain medical care due to transportation issues. One solution to this issue is mobile vaccinations and other medical supplies. We introduce to you our Vaxmobile a mobile vehicle that delivers medical personnel to distribute the vaccine right to you in your own home. Using this innovation, you will never have to worry about not having access to life-saving resources ever again. Now that you have been introduced to a worldwide major public health issue, and have gained knowledge on various preventions and the impact it has on your own community and daily life, we hope that you can use everything you have learned to take part in stopping the spread of communicable diseases.